Hello, good day. Welcome to Violet Preserve Crochet 101 series. And today with another project using just chain stitch and um, also a slip stitch. It's a very simple project and we add this lobster hook and we can actually use it as a bookmark to decorate your bag or to be a luggage tag and etc. Okay, so that's done. We're using cotton and more series yarn. 100% cotton. Book size between 4 to 6, we are using 5 milliliters. Okay, we can start with this beautiful blue. Other than that, we will need the scissors and the lobster clip. Okay, slip knot. Or for beginner, do a loop, cross over, insert your hook, hold the ends and pull, and then pull the long. Yeah. And we do 38 chain. One, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. For the little ones, you can put it in front and move this loop over. You do this, and many of my students is really really young at the age of six. They can do this as well. One, two, three, four. We do thirty each. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, two, three, four, thirty-five. 36, 37, and 38. Okay. 38. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Onto the 6th loop from the hook, we're going to do a slip stitch. Insert. Pull up a loop. And pull through all. Slip stitch. Create this loop. Okay, repeat yeah. Okay, but before that, before we can close the loop, we have to insert this. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five on the six. Insert, pull up a loop, and pull through all. Locking down to create that loop. And we keep this lobster hook in the loop. Okay, we're going to do three chain. One, two, and three. And skip one, two, three on the fourth one. We can do a locking, which is a slip stitch. Inside, pull up a loop, and pull through all to create another loop. And we're gonna repeat this until the end of the yarn, the end of the chain. So one, two, three. Skip one, two, three into the fourth. Insert. Pull up a loop and go through all. Repeat one, two, three. Skip one, two, three, and the fourth. Insert. Pull up a loop. Go through all. One, 
two, three, and this time one, two, three, skip into the fourth. One, two, and three. This time skip one, two, three, and two, four. One, two, three, chain. And this side skip three into the fourth. One, two, three, chain. This side skip one, two, three onto the fourth. One, two, three, two more. Two, three, one to the fourth. We may have missed count. Okay, so last one. One, two, and into here. Last one. And slip stitch. Well, loop. And we're gonna pop up. Very simple, just give it a knot. You can leave the long string or you can actually cut it off or weave in. Okay, so we have done one part of it and we're going to repeat the same thing. Repeat the same thing and do the same. We can repeat the same thing that we do, same length, and create a different color. But the only difference is we do not need the lobster hook. Okay, and now how do we assemble it? Okay, insert this through. Put this in front. The next loop, we can insert this. Open up, we're gonna move in alternate between the colors. Right here. If you've done it with one long, longer than the other, it's fine too. Continue till the end. Beautiful deco. You can hook this anywhere, or you can actually put it in a book as a bookmark. Okay, I have this back here. I'm gonna bring this deco on your back. So I hope you like this simple tutorial for beginners, which is practicing on chain stitch and a slip stitch. Goodbye. See you again soon.